Happy Mother's Day to the collective. My name is Delilah, but most people know me by my pen name, which is Madonna Divine. And welcome to Starseed Direct. On this episode at the Edge, we're going to be doing a collective energy reading for the mothers. And if no one's told you today, I appreciate you from one MVP to another. All right, let's see. Collective Mother's Day reading. Your family is sabotaging your soul purpose, all right? So for other readers, or even if you're not a reader, there's someone in your familial dynamic that is sabotaging your soul purpose. Perhaps they don't support the fact that you do tarot or any kind of spiritual practice. All right. What kind of news are we going to have on such a wonderful day? We also have the garden, okay? So maybe you have a wrong, uh, a wrong. Someone has the wrong idea about you, collective. You are someone who is very attuned to nature, okay? You like being outdoors. You also have the ac you have access to knowledge regarding nature also, okay? Maybe this is literally, maybe this is theoretically, okay? I would say this is literal family because your spirit family is supposed to support you. But there's some dynamic of someone very close to you that is sabotaging your soul purpose. And perhaps you don't know what that is. Maybe you should think about it because depending on how this reading plays out, you may discover what that actually is. Mm. Radical self-love. 41 may be significant, deriving to 5. We can only receive love to the extent that we unconditionally love and live the truth of ourselves. Yes, Holy Spirit. Perfect message for today. Okay? You can't wait for someone else to love you. You need to love yourself. And other people, the people that are supposed to be in your life are going to love you at the level that you love yourself. Okay? So don't wait for someone else to treat you to something. Treat yourself to something. You deserve it. Okay, I don't know, I can't speak for everyone, but if you are a content creator of any kind, not just Tarot, you understand how much effort it takes to record, to edit, to make videos, or to do anything that interests you in sharing this interest, okay? In regards to these family members or whoever this is, you have mind games, okay? So someone may want you to think that what you're doing for yourself or your purpose isn't loving yourself, okay? Someone is trying to make you possibly think less of yourself. Someone is possibly trying to make you feel not worthy of unconditional love. But the truth of the matter is this person is jealous, okay? Perhaps because they give up their own soul purpose for material gain, all right? This may resonate with you. This may not resonate with you. Take only what resonates, okay? Someone doesn't like the fact that you're spending so much time loving yourself, okay? And loving who you have developed yourself to be. Your activation, your elevation. Take what resonates, okay? We're going to go ahead and head over to the tarot now. Self-love is very important. You need to love all dynamics of yourself, even the parts that possibly someone doesn't support, okay? As I cut the deck, you have the death card and the eight of swords. This speaks of transformation, but this also speaks of an ending to being up in one's mind about a particular situation, possibly about your soul purpose, okay? Let's see what comes out on these cards, all right? Someone wants to inflict some kind of fear in you or someone may be projecting this idea that you are fearful, but it's quite the contrary, okay? For example, as I was tending to my home and throwing trash away and, you know, doing my laundry and things of that nature to prepare for the work week, 
my neighbor was outside and he mumbled something under his breath about, you know, it's okay to be afraid sometimes, but not for the rest of your life. Like, I don't know where he was going with that. It was very first facetious. Okay. I don't, I don't even like talk to this person like that, but for whatever reason, he felt the need to say that. And this just goes to show you collective that people don't really know you. They only know you based off of their own experiences. And this could be also conducive to the fact that you're not a hoe. Okay, and you don't just sling yourself around. You're very protective of your energy and possibly your core knit family. And somebody is in their feelings about that. Okay, now that's just an example. In your life, it may be something else. All right, one of mind games. Yeah, you have the Knight of Swords. This person definitely wanted to project their own, you know, energy on you. To make you feel like you don't love yourself because you don't freely give your sexual energy to just any Tom, Dick, and Harry, okay? Someone gave up their soul contract for material gain or simulation upgrades, okay? You have the Six of Pentacles, Earth energy here. This person possibly was trying to, you know, do a temp check on... If they can continue to breadcrumb you or not. And you may have taken a stand in a particular situation regarding this dynamic. Um, it may be a little different for each of you, okay? You finally decided that breadcrumbs aren't good enough. So you decided to bake your own bread, possibly what you've been doing this whole time. And these energies, whether it's your family, whether it's, you know, whoever, it's someone that you consider family, on some kind of level these people are really upset that instead of feeding into the energy of their toxicity you decided to put that energy back into yourself and because of this you have unlocked spiritual elevation okay and if you have achieved that well done let's get one on the key now ah yes visionary energy Three of Wands, pre-emperor energy also. There is a plan in place. You also may be going in a new direction that maybe generations in your bloodline before have not gone. And it's the road that, haven't, that has not been traveled yet. And for most visionaries, this is the case. Think about every important figure in history. They didn't get there by playing it safe or doing things that were considered normal. They did things that were innovative, sometimes to the point of extremity. One on the garden. Yes, you have the sun, okay? You realize that happiness is an inside job. And because you found this, there is a sense of contentment that you have in radical self-love. But these people don't support your soul purpose because now they can't gaslight you anymore, they can't exploit you anymore, and they can't use your energy to then turn around and breadcrumb you. And they got a problem with that. All right? One on radical self-love. You have the four wands, okay? You got a lot of passionate energy here with these wands. Radical self-love clarified by the four wands speaks of a sturdy foundation, right? Because the house don't fall when the bones are good. And you realize that possibly leading up into this moment of you elevating to this realization, spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally, that everything else that you included these third-party energies on was built on a falsity. And you fought hard to build something that was sturdy on your own. And how did you do that? By realizing that you were worthy of this unconditional love. How can you pour into other cups and support other people who don't clearly support you? So you took the time to say, pause. I'm going to pour all of this energy, whether that was calling your energy back, whether that was just 
spending more time on loving who you are authentically. Not worrying about what Joe Schmo down the street got to say about it. Not worrying about what your peers, your co-workers, your family, whoever have to say about it. Because of the divine cosign on it, why does it even matter what other people think? You are blessed because you took the time to radically love yourself. And in doing so, an amazing thing happened. You built a sturdy foundation. You have a clear vision on the way to move forward. And now your garden is cultivating or cultivated, depending on what part of the process you're on, okay? This may be involving children, but I'm getting on this energy that your children may be happy. Your children may be celebrating you today in how far you have come as an individual because your children or your family that does support you, assuming that not everyone is an enemy, see how much effort you have put in putting yourself back together and they want to celebrate that with you, okay? Anything else for this Mother's Day collective reading? Ah, yes. We have the lovers because you came into union with yourself. There could be a very healthy balance of masculine and feminine energy. You found a balance and these people may be trying to depict or project this energy of you're not balanced, but they only understand from the perception that they see. They're not with you every day. They're not shooting in the gym with you every day. They're not shooting in the shooting range with you every day either. All right. You did the steps necessary to protect your energy and your children if you have them. Okay. And in doing so, the real reason why these people have so much to say is they can't exploit you anymore or use you for your energy. Because you took the time collective to realize your worth. And then you did something miraculous. Mm. You added tax with the star. Your healing journey is going to be different for everyone. Okay? It doesn't matter what somebody's journey looks like to someone else. Everybody has a different road that they take. Perhaps you took one less traveled. But for those who study the blade, know that the road less traveled leads to elevation. Now, in regards to these people that want to play mind games with you, I'm getting that they're caught in their own traps at the moment. Eight of Swords, Seven of Cups. Maybe they tried to project this energy onto you and it backfired. Clarifying the Six of Pentacles. You have the seven of pentacles. So this is something that these people are reflecting on now. This possibly happened in the past. I don't get that this is currently happening. All right. Let's get a closing three, Holy Spirit. For this message, for the collective, for anyone that resonates with it. Uh, wow. <laughs> collective. You have the pre-empress energy, nine of pentacles. You have the four wands again. Right. Because you decided, I'm going to love myself and cultivate my garden. And in doing so, you have built a very strong foundation in this energy. And when you work on yourself and continue to do this, you only attract, not chase, what seems like buffoonery that other people are involved in. Now, whatever's going on in their own accord looks manipulative. And you decided, I'm just going to leave the karmic energies to their karmicking. And I'm going to focus on building my foundation. One that is protected, sturdy. One where you are celebrated and accepted for who you are. And last, the third card. Mm. Is strength. Knowing that now that you see what it took to get here, you have a reinvigorated focus 
on the best decision and direction to move forward. To all of my MVPs, I'm sending you nothing but the highest vibration of love and support. And know that every and every bit of energy that you put into your process of healing, of self-love, and building is not in vain. Enjoy your holiday.